Pookie was a bear, a normal bear with a normal life. He went to school like normal, he played outside, he had good friends. Pookie had a good life. He was a small bear with small eyes and the fluffiest fur you had ever seen. But one day, his normal life would turn to a life of action and adventure. One day, Pookie was eating lunch with his friend, Bailey, when he noticed something wrapped up in his sandwich. He unwrapped his sandwich delicately so as not to rip it and saw what it was. It was a small, stained little piece of paper folded carefully into a small square. On it, it had printed these words. Read this note in your mind. It is the treasure you must find. Travel to the boggy ground. This is where your clue is found. Pookie read it over and over in his mind. When he fully grasped what it said, he dropped the note and ran to find the boggiest place he knew. But what he didn't realise was that dropping that note was the biggest mistake he would make. A real treasure hunt, he thought. He had remembered the boggiest place would have to be the school field, as it had been raining for months. And he was running towards it as fast as his puny legs could carry him. He came up to the field faster than you could say, Rally Pepper Poo. He found the wettest part of the field and spotted the little note. He opened it and the note said, If you follow this clue, there might be treasure awaiting you. In here, the next clue will be, climb up to the highest tree. Pookie was so excited, he made the same mistake. He dropped the note and ran to the pine trees at the back of the mucky field and climbed it so fast his legs went numb. But suddenly, Pookie stopped. He could hear a song in the distance. It went like this. Silly little Pookie Bear, dropping notes down everywhere. Silly little Pookie Bear, you can't just drop notes anywhere. Pookie couldn't believe his ears. He had led someone right to him by dropping the notes. The evil follower came into view, hopping cheerfully on a thin twig in the tree next to Pookie. He had small little eyes and big fat nostrils. He had a wide toothless smile that turned into a smirk as he saw Pookie in the tree. His limbs looked long and stretchy as he hopped his way over. His skin was fluffy and brown. As he talked to Pookie, his voice came out in a silky whisper. Hello, Pookie. Find the treasure yet? My name is Monkey, and I just came to tell you that if you and I are hunting the same treasure, you don't stand a chance. Well, well, I'm faster than you, and I'm going to reach it first, stammered Pookie. And he started to climb the tree at a steady pace, snapping tigs, twigs as he went. Monkey bounced right up to where the clue was, but he jumped too high and smacked right into the tree. Ha ha, Pookie yelled and grabbed the note with a triumphant yell. He read it in his mind so Monkey could not hear. It read, You're nearly there, so don't be blue. In the hoop, you'll find your clue. As soon as he read it, he knew what it meant. He raced down from the tree, Monkey hopping close behind him. He had to get to the netball hoop, and fast. He raced up the pole and snatched the note, but Monkey was too fast for Pookie. He sprang up to the top and snatched the note off him. Pookie lost his balance and threw th- fell through the net, but caught one string with a small paw. This is the end of the line, Pookie, said Jeremy. But then Pookie heard a sweeping sound, a whooshing sound, and then Bailey appeared out of the blue, flying with his cape flapping behind him in the wind. Bailey flew to the net and knocked Monkey off making him fall to his death. Then Pookie read the final note. It said, Where people play and score lots of tries is where your special treasure lies. Pookie ran towards the goalpost at the edge of the rugby field, carrying a shovel in one hand and the note in the other. Bailey had saved him, so they were going to split the treasure. When they got to the post, they dug and dug until Bailey's shovel hit something hard. Pookie screamed with excitement and helped Bailey lift it out of the ground. It was a large metal box, rusted and covered in dirt. They opened it. Inside was a mixture of gold, jewels, lollies, necklaces and bracelets. They were rich! After that, Bailey and Pookie were best friends and they lived together in their very own mansion. That end by Rihanna.